for today's lesson, Primary Colors. This is a painting by Piet Mondrian. It's called Broadway Boogie Woogie, painted in 1942-43. It's an oil on canvas, and we can find it at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, New York. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to be making a Piet Mondrian um, grid style collage. That means we're going to be cutting paper and then gluing the paper down into a design. I will begin with my vertical lines. I'm going to take my glue stick and put a light strip of glue. Then I'm going to start layering my vertical lines into a grid. I'm going to add on horizontal lines as well. And I'm going to keep building my layers until I have a grid design. So here I have my grid design using horizontal black lines and vertical black lines of construction paper. Now I am ready to fill in my grid with my colored paper. I'm using the three primary colors. I'm using red, I'm using blue, I'm using yellow. I'm only using the three primary colors. These are the colors that you cannot make. These are the colors that we use to mix secondary colors and intermediate colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how big my shape my rectangle or square needs to be. I'm going to cut each shape and fill in my pattern to create a sense of rhythm. Piet Mondrian was very interested in um, New York City where he lived after World War II. He was very interested in jazz music. He was interested in the rhythm of jazz and how that related to his artwork. He was also very amazed by the traffic in New York City, and he made artworks that were reflecting the traffic lights, the grid design of the city, and the um, movement of the city with the cars and the people. I'm going to put it over here in the corner. In his artwork, there's also there's also spaces, so it creates this rhythm between this play between the color and the white and the black and the contrast between the colors. So it is your job to figure out how you want your colors to look in each square. Now notice I'm trying to cut each shape to fit where I want to put the color. So probably a good strategy would be to, as I did earlier with the marker, is to decide how big you need that shape to be by measuring, making a little bit of a line, and then cutting your rectangle into that shape that's going to fit in your square that you've created with your black grid. Now you go along like this until you think it's done. I think that I need some more colors in this corner, so I think I'm going to select another blue. I'm going to do my measuring. I'm measuring where how big I need that shape to be. I'm cutting the shape so it fits into the spot that I've selected for my blue color, my blue primary, and I'm gluing it down so you cannot see the drawing that I did. So I, I'm using the back side of the paper. Now that's it. That's the Mondrian collage. Hope you enjoy it.